Yeah, absolutely. We do see some uh, names that we've seen kind of thrown around in the Valorant Sunday Showdown. Some some people who have definitely been on other rosters for the Bucky Boys. We see Dean W, Jack Sino, Soapy Can't Aim, Aju, and NS Frog. I I do believe we've seen them pretty 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 recently. Yeah. Um, they have now reformed, just like Dilly said, the Bucky Boys to bring back some Bucky action up in here. And that'll be a really fun match because we are on Haven today, our three site map. Probably not the best for Bucky's, but I mean, <laughs> if they can get some nice uh, angles on what, A short, like maybe doors, oh, man, garage, yeah. they can get some pretty sick kills with those Bucky's. Definitely the first thing that came to mind was the garage doors mm -hmm. uh, towards that B middle area. Area that you can uh, either hold it down with a Bucky or <laughs> push your way through those doors with five Bucky's in tow. Uh, so we definitely, you know, big expectations, I think, on the Bucky boys. Yep. You know, obviously, this is, you know, they are in a tournament. This is competitive, but we do want to see some Bucky's yeah. brought out from the Bucky boys. Of course. I think we've earned to see that. So Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, yeah. it's always fun to bring a little bit of showmanship into the tournament, into yeah. some competitive play. You know, just get a little fun with it. Play, play to the crowd. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, we're not going to see some Buckies in this first round. That's for sure. But we are going to see a, a pretty solid almost mirror match. Yeah, this is a mirror match up here. We've got the Cypher, Reyna, Omen, uh, Sova, and the Jet on both sides. Yeah, a lot of intel gathering, a lot of smokes, and then the frag potential of that Reyna there. Really big potential for either of these sides to have a hard carry come out. So we'll see how these teams use these mirror compositions up against each other. Pugstar set up for that A short defense, and he's going to peek at the right time. Catches Jack slipping, takes him down for the first kill of the match. Pugstar looking for more, but Sinnoh finds the revenge. Wow. Big headshot onto Pugstar. And that's going to force Lear to back away a little bit, but so do the Bucky boys. So the kills go one for one starting out. Yeah, just a nice little start up here to the pistol round. Not going to be anything super exciting. Um, definitely see some new stuff in the in the uh, map up there. I, I don't know exactly what. Oh, the so those the numbers are how they correspond to the observer. Mm, okay, perfect. That's actually really nice for obser our observer. That's for sure. Yeah. But we are now moving into a full short push here from the Bucky Boys. Here they come. And I don't know. Uh, yeah, here left. it comes. The plant is actually going to go out from the Reyna. Lots of shots going out. Nothing's going to connect this time. But Frog is in a pretty good position to be able to get some Maybe a kill from someone jumping out from either window, but Soapy can't aim on the backside. It's going to take out Coil. Yeah, interesting setup from the Buckeye. Bucky boys here getting really aggressive with their push up into A long, and it pays off in a big way. Sino hunting for the final kill here as Bucky boys have all but wrapped this one up. Not much Lear can do here. Wow. Lear finds one, but it's he's going to have to find a few more. Oh, Lear with a big shot onto NS Frog. The time's certainly working against him, and so is Aju. And that is going to be round one going over to the Bucky Boys off the back of a excellently timed push onto the A site. Yeah, that was really fantastic. But it looks like Bucky Boys are not going with a Bucky this time. We do see that LMG in the hands of Frog. A couple of, yeah, this is going to be quite a force buy from yeah. the side of Bucky Boys. Hopefully they're going to be able to do some big damage to Evil Goobers and uh, deny any sort of econ. We are seeing Buckies on the side of <laughs> Evil Goobers, though. <laughs> Three Buckies and two Stingers, I think, is an excellent team composition here to try and stop the role of Bucky Boys early on here. See how Bucky Boys put together their own, or how they put their buy to use. They did save a little bit of cash on a couple of their members here, but uh, three of their members definitely shelling out for as much as they can get their hands on. Jack, oh, so careful to running into the first of the Buckies in the hands of Pugstar here. We'll see who flinches first. Coil, I don't know about this push up. C Long finds some damage onto Soapy Can't Aim, but it's going to end up going uh, to going in the way of Soapy Can't Aim. 
and Bucky Boys find two early kills here. Oh, this is actually a really slow push, but then again, right when I say that, here they all go to the A side. They are keeping Jack, it looks like, over on their side, and he's gonna get taken down immediately by Hugstar with a beautiful Bucky shot, and a little bit of help from Lear as well. Evil Goobers showing the Bucky Boys how it's done here with the Buckies in, in hand. But Bucky Boys still able to get the spike down and once again spreading out for the defense here. Not dropping back to A long as they did in the first round, actually holding a bit closer onto site. Three members of the Evil Goobers remaining, crowding into this back corridor, pushing forward as time takes against them, but there's gonna be a great deal of intel. Wow. Helping out yeah, Lear get the kill on the Sinnoh, but it's Bucky Boys who once again find the edge. Lear once again finds himself in a 1v2 position. Time working against them, but Lear picks up the triple kill, and it's only one more. Tries to get the halfway defuse, but NSF Frog takes advantage and Bucky Boys, that one was a little dicier than the <laughs> yeah. first round, but they make it 2-0 in the face of the Buckies. And of course, the Bucky Boys gonna know how to handle a few Buckies. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's in their name, it's in their DNA. <laughs> but with that force by and only Frog left alive, that is gonna kinda hurt their economy a little bit at the moment. And it looks like Evil Goobers might actually save this round. We are see pistols coming out on both sides. There is still a couple of uh, rifles. Very interesting yeah, yeah. buys from both of these teams, but uh, they're just trying to get a handle on their economy at the moment. Yeah, it was a big gamble for the Evil Goobers to pull the trigger on those Buckies, on those Stingers. And so that means they're gonna have to be light on equipment here in the third round. Oh, schooled though, may be able to make the most of it, gets the trade onto Coil, but Soapy Cannon finds the revenge. Flavor though, keeps the numbers even with a big headshot onto Frog. Sino making the most of his Sheriff, takes down Pugstar. This is looking dicey once again for the Bucky Boys, but once again, it's Lear, the last man standing here for Evil Goobers. Just the Sheriff, no armor. Does have the ultimate available, but I think we'll see him hold on to that. But this trade going out onto Soapy. Uh oh. Favorable thus far. Hasn't taken any damage. Has Lear. Oh, goodness. The Bucky Boys are closing in all around him. And I think this smoke prevents the uh, rotate off there. Oh, and Lear finds a big kill. Oh Jack, though, finds the revenge. So Lear. <laughs> Three times in a row, unable to clutch it out. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that Lear is the last one left alive, and he is definitely hauling some weight on his side. Six and three, definitely getting some big kills on the Bucky Boys. Is Lear staying alive for as long as possible? Uh, Sino, not too far behind, five and two, looking pretty good with some of those shots, especially that uh, Sheriff shot we saw down Garage. That was That was a good shot. Love to see those. Yeah, big headshot there, but not enough to pull around for the defenders here. Evil Goobers now with their first full buy of the match. See if they can make the most of it. They're actually getting a little aggressive as Lear here on this A short side pushed up a little far. Only one member of Bucky Boys there to greet them. The rest of the members scouting out this mid garage area. Sino pushed up for the attackers here. Pugstar with this op angle mid may catch a Bucky boy slipping if they're not careful. Ooh. Oh, the wiggle. The jiggle peek baits out the op shot as Sino trades some damage here with Lear. Jack, though, finds an op kill on the Pugstar. That's going to open the defense wide open here Whoa. for Bucky boys. But Lear stands strong. A short there. Finds the kill onto the rival Cypher, and that's going to give uh, the intel away to the Evil Goobers. Wow, the setup from Evil Goobers is too good. Flavor gets a 3K in such beautiful fashion. Jack trying to hold it down all by himself, but no, the Evil Goobers are going to put left. down the Bucky Boys this time. Wow, what a response from Bu uh, from the Evil Goobers, rather. Flavor comes up big with that huge triple kill, mows down the Bucky Boys. They've been trying to exploit this A site. The Evil Goobers have made the adaptation here, get their first round on the board, make the most of that first full buy. Pugstar unable to get a uh, pick with that op, but uh, does nonetheless keep the op alive 
for this fifth round. Yeah, that I mean, that was a huge buy. And just the fact that he's got it again in this round is pretty intense. And you can see there's not a lot of credits left over on the side of Evil Goobers. But if they can pull off another amazing setup like that, their retake was, I mean, not even a retake. It was just yeah. a perfect hold on that A site. Yeah. Uh, Bucky Boys have been trying to make this A play work. And, I mean, it had worked three times in a row. But the fourth time, Evil Goobers made the adaptation. Flavor made the adaptation. Held that perfect angle from half. Uh, and pulled down that 3k for going down to the Bucky Boys. No See how Run. the Bucky Boys themselves Whoa. respond. Ultimate coming out. Two ultimates coming out. Hunter Shiri not going to... Actually, I uh, does catch a bit of damage there onto Schooled, looks like. Jack hunting for the head to take off with those knives. Bucky Boys push forward onto B site here. Lear gets the tripwire out. This flavor's gonna pop the ult. Push forward here, but there's so much vision denial here. It's gonna be a tough job, and Sinnoh punishes Flavor for the push there. Sinnoh comes up big with a double kill here. So the attackers with a successful, albeit risky, push out onto B site. Pugstar, though, lurking around the corner, combines with Coil to find two kills, but Pugstar. Gets flanked by Soapy Can Aim, leaving Coil the last member remaining. Aju with low HP. Oh, but there's an op with full HP right around the co uh, corner here for Coil. Oh, but here oh comes goodness. the push, and it's not perfectly timed, giving one over to Coil. Can he find two? He may be able to as he dances around the smoke. But here comes the flank from Soapy Can not Aim. Is Coil looking the wrong way? Coil is up to Soapy's tricks. Oh goodness, who flinches first here? Wow! Coil wins out on the trade, clutches it out. Does he have the time? I think so. Oh yeah. Yes, clutches it out. Coil, Ooh. a massive play to give Evil Goobers two rounds in a row. And what a big momentum swing here for the defenders. Yeah, absolutely. It, it seemed like Bucky Boys did have some, some uh, credits left after that. And it looks like they might actually go for a harsh buy here. Uh, they're definitely going to have to win this next round, but that was so good from Coil. You know, he took his time. He was really patient with some of his pushes. But I would also say Lear with those cyber cages, those were so clutch. He had them in the right place at the right time. It doesn't matter how fast they were pushing. Evil, evil Goobers stayed on top of it. Yeah, the combination of Coil, Smokes, and Lear's uh, cages there meant that Bucky Boys had no way to see where Evil Goobers were set up, and that played right into the Evil Goobers' hands. So Evil Goobers once again mixing up the pace here on the Bucky Boys, sending two members pushed up this A short, but the push for Bucky Boys is actually going to come through this B garage area. Pugstar lurking right around the corner with the op that may be a tough flick to handle right around the corner here Ooh, thought he was about to pick one up i didn't even notice that someone the oh, omen is so Sino. low what Sino with excellent sneaky position gets the kill on the pug star but across the map flavor finds the kill onto onto uh the jet there so the kills one for one jet for jet here in the sixth round, Evil Goobers looking to make it three in wow. a row, and Coil comes up big with a double kill. Takes down Aju, takes down Sinnoh. Soapy will find the revenge, but that leaves the remaining two members of Bucky Boys left. here in a 2v3, as the defenders are already Amazing. set up on Seasight. So Schooled wow. takes advantage, wow. Flavor follows up. Evil Goobers make it three in a row. Definitely some really good uh, positioning, and honestly, just like some of the what Bucky Boys were trying to do was good. It looked yes. good. But Coil, with those two quick kills, yes. honestly just opened it up for Evil Goobers to take that round away from Bucky Boys. That's not really a situation where you can expect Coil to win, but he did regardless. Right. I mean, Coil uh, had that kill on the onto C Long and then immediately snapped, turned around, and found the second. I mean, that is such a difficult position on two wildly different angles. 
So Coil comes up big for Whoa. Evil Goobers. Pugsta coming up big as well. Finds the wall bang there onto the rival Jet. Oh, but maybe caught out here. It still finds good damage. And that's going to open the door for Lear. Lear picks up the Quadra kill. Oh my Two different guns, four different kills. Lear and Pugstar combined to absolutely slaughter the Bucky boys. Jeez, that was so... That, that was fantastic from Evil Goobers. Like, yes. Lear has always been there for his team. It seems like he's constantly there for his team, ready to get the kill. Yes. Picked up that operator almost immediately when Pugstar dropped and was able to get that last kill. That was amazing. I mean, insane, insanely good situational awareness there from Lear to say, okay, I've got to secure this dropped off, but I'm also going to use it to continue my reign of terror here a long. Lear has not dropped the pace one bit here in this game. Even as his team let three rounds slide early on, Lear was popping off regardless. And that shows in the stat line 12 and 5 right now for Lear. Wow. Jack gets a big opening kill onto Coil. Try and slow the momentum of this defending side here. And that's going to be a quick push onto Seasite for the Bucky boys. The Empress pop for them as well. As the spike goes down. Sino backing away to rejoin his teammate here. See long pug star goes oh. down as Jack finds the triple what? kill. Jack with a big Johnny statement Johnny. here in the eighth round single handedly takes out the defense. That was fantastic. Those shots were so good. That's exactly what they needed. He was getting those he was getting those flicks honestly. I mean he was looking on CT side. He looked down long went towards garage then looked back CT and got that next kill like it was just one after another yeah that was all uh rhythm there i think from jack so really really big stuff i don't think schooled was able to save the op yeah wasn't able to save the op of pug star there so that will be a big detriment to evil goobers as they let bucky boys tie it back up after having taken four in a row bucky boys slow their roll for now there is still a solid bankroll on the side of Evil Goobers, which will empower them to pick up yet another op. Lear in a bit of a tricky position economically, but yeah, we'll have a teammate there to be able to buy it, that Phantom for him. So three Phantoms, one Vandal, one op in the hands of Pugstar, Evil Goobers. The momentum is slowed for now. Can they pick it back up? We'll see how Bucky Boys approach this ninth round. Very... Uh, far back. Actually, the Bucky Boys playing the side of oh, defense no. as Flavor plays the attack, pushes forward, gets one onto Sinnoh. Oh, the paranoia, though, enables Soapy, can't aim to find the revenge onto Flavor, keeping us in a 4v4. Really unfortunate moment for uh, the Bucky Boys Cypher there. He had his cam out in his hand, <laughs> and that really aggressive push from Reyna just absolutely demolished him in that moment. Good thing Soapy Can't Aim was there to follow it up. <laughs> Soapy can aim. That is what we're learning here today. Here comes the push from Bucky Boys once again onto the C site, but once again, the defenders are ready to greet them. Schooled picks up the kill on Aju, and that may be enough to stop the push for now as the Hunter's Fury rings out. Finds a bit of damage onto Cole. Oh, and that shock dart is going to make his job a little harder as well. Soapy can't aim though on the flank, finds the kill onto Lear in Garage. That's a really important kill for the Bucky Boys here, left. but they have to pull away from Seasight. The rotate has come out onto A now, and there are no defenders Leaving there to stop them. So it'll be a free site for Bucky Boys. Now up to Evil Goobers to way. respond, and respond Run, they do. Run. Here comes the ult from Pugstar. Here oh. comes the ult from Schooled. Here comes the snipe from Schooled. Takes down NS Frog. NS Frog through the wall there. Pugstar still has a full clip of knives here in hand. Has intel as well onto Jack. Jack forced to dash away. Wow. Jack gets sprayed down by Schooled. Pugstar takes down Soapy Can't Aim. And a perfect retake from the Evil Goobers. Ah, that was such a good push from Evil Goobers. They knew exactly what they were doing, hitting their shots. Bucky Boys stayed on site a little bit too long, I think. I, I think they had a little bit more time to be able to dodge that Hunter's Fury and set up the other two members. 
while uh, evil goobers were moving in onto the site and allow them, I, I think, a better setup than before. It's entirely possible. One thing I do know is that I wouldn't want to be the one dodging the ult of Schooled. It <laughs> seemed he had telepathic abilities reading uh, exactly where the plant was coming out. Really smartly played from Schooled. You might say he was schooling them. Oh, yes. That is a thing. <laughs> oh, Coil, Coil, though. So good on to Aju. It's going to take him out immediately out of the picture. Coil with the op in hand. This is a double op approach from the evil goobers. One, in, one on Pugstar, one on Coil. That's going to allow them to be so dangerous here. But they've actually... As I look at it, now have both ops set up on C site. They did say send Pugstar uh, A initially, but now they've got quite a firm lockdown onto that C site. We'll see how Bucky Boys respond. They're really clumped up towards mid right now, but they are afraid to put a foot wrong here. Yeah, absolutely. So it looks like. They are clumping up here in the middle, getting ready for this push onto the site, but the Owl Drone is going to spot them out, at least two or three of them, so now they know this could be a B push, but no, they are sticking to their their setups here, and I feel like that is the right choice. You've got Schooled just on the outside there. Flavor is ready, probably going to take out Jack here, and there it is. Flavor takes down Jack, and that is a big opening for Evil Goobers. No, and Bucky Boys are... They were falling apart, but now it's Evil Goobers. Wow, what a response from Bucky Boys. It seemed to all fell apart, but Flavor oh, held yeah, strong, and that opens the door for Soapy. Can't aim to pick up a huge kill as NSF Frog gets one as well. Coil, though, the last defender remaining has the off in hand. Gets a big snipe onto Frog. Oh, but gets a little too gutsy. Soapy with the double kill. Bucky Boys tie it up once more here in the first half. Definitely the right move for Soapy Can't Aim. He saw that smoke come out and he decided to run right into it and meet with Coil and take him out. Yeah, definitely had the uh, the close quarters combat advantage there. Uh, yeah. Did Soapy with the Vandal over the op and eventually the classic that Coil had to resort to. Here. So that will at least force Evil Goobers here now to a single op setup as well as Lear. Now only with a Stinger. We praised Lear early on for a really strong start, but he's stumbled here a bit uh, in these last few rounds as Jack certainly has not started to stumble as we've been finding big picks with these op, with the op here in the last couple rounds. Oh, I think he's looking for the op. I don't think he found it. I don't know if he did. Cage trigger. Lear. Yeah, he still does not have the op in hand anymore. So now this is a pretty good setup from Bucky Boys on the A site. This could be a solid hold by them. You've got Cypher in hell. Coil teleports up into heaven. It's going to be blocked off by a lot of smoke here, but Jack has a good position here. This is so gutsy from Jack here. He's so exposed, but also has such good vision. Soapy can't aim, though, with a big flank on the backside here of Ooh. the evil goobers. This could pay off massively, but he pulls the trigger a bit too soon, and that gives the intel over to evil goobers, and they punish the Bucky boys, finding two early kills, but the time is working away. Jack finds one before going down, leaving just NS Frog wow. remaining, but NS Frog has the Hunter's Fury, finds the kill on a coil, but Lear hunts him down. The defuse doesn't come through, though. Oh, my gosh. What a crazy round for Bucky Boys. That was intense. I, wow. I, I was so sad for Soapy because he had that that Cypher tripwire in front of him that he couldn't pass up before shooting at uh, Schooled, but mm. ultimately oh, gets taken nice. down by Schooled. That was, that was an expensive round again. Yeah. And look at this buy for Evil Goobers. You've got... Uh, bulldogs. Yeah, and, uh, and a, a stinger. Judge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, not an optimal That's buy bad. here for the evil goobers. The silver lining for them is they all do have full armor, but Bucky boys, they started out strong. Let evil goobers get some momentum, but they're bringing it right back here. We'll see how they are able to close out Ooh. this first half as the dueling empresses come out as Aju pushes forward. Aju with the intel, with the kill, takes down Pugstar. The response from Evil Goobers will be the form of this Hunter's Fury, but it do doesn't catch anyone out, and it's just gonna let Flavor 
find a kill before going down here. Lear trying to do what they can, takes out Sinnoh, but the situation is dire for the evil goobers. Despite letting those rounds slide, Bucky boys have all but secured their lead going into the second half. Definitely a pretty crazy turn of events. Lear is about to meet the gun of Jack, and that is it for this side of the half. Bucky boys up seven to five. In, I mean, sides. in a game that I, I didn't foresee happening, to be honest. Yeah. I did not see this happening. It, I mean, yeah. Uh, Bucky Boys, they started out really strong, and I was like, maybe, you know, uh, we made the call too early on Evil Goobers, but Evil Goobers had a massive response, you know, winning five of the next six. But Bucky Boys, they are undeterred. They have wow. shown they can stay strong uh, even if the Evil Goobers, you know, start to get a streak together. Bucky Boys brought it right back, winning uh, four of the last five rounds in the half there. So really swingy yeah. first half. We'll see how the yeah. second half plays out now with the Evil Goobers on attack, Bucky Boys on defense, and they are stacking that mid area, both sides. Evil Goobers send three members over towards mid but two or two members over towards mid three towards a pugstar being one of the ones towards mid trading some damage there and as a oh my goodness pushed up so far here finds the kill on a pugstar but it's still one for one here at this point coil is taking a big amount of damage jack meanwhile on a site Wow. Is trying to stop the push, force to back away as Coil finds the flank kill there on Desino. Coil still chased. going. Oh Soapy can aim with the running gun with the frenzy will finally take him down. But is it enough? Lear finds one. Can he find more? No. Frog takes him down. Oh, good shock dart forces him away for now, but it still is a 2v2. Oh, Bucky Boys with the pinch here. Make it or make it count here. Uh, the colors on the kill feed are switched there. <laughs> so <laughs> I had a tough time uh, seeing who was getting the kills. But Bucky Boys went out in the end, continuing their streak from the first half. Even that Goobers, was... tough to get a foothold for them. Yeah, especially on these pistol rounds. They obviously have not won a pistol round as of yet. And so this could be a pretty, pretty tough first you know, first part of the second half, because if if it looks like the first half as well, where yeah. they lose three in a row, that puts Bucky Boys on 10 points. Yeah. And only three points away right from here. the win. Yeah. Every round becomes increasingly crucial here in the second half, especially for the Evil Goobers. They've got a big deficit now to overcome. They're running out of rounds to play with. Jack. Holding this B corner, oh, but Pugstar wow. makes the read, takes him down. And that's going to make the Bucky Boy's job that much harder. Spike planted. Schooled still watching the backside here. Sinnoh might actually get caught out. I don't know. This is a battle of wits at the moment. And there it is. He took down the tripwire, but Schooled was waiting for it. Was able to take him down. So Evil Goobers now. I was going to say with the 5v3, but now a 4v3. Soapy can't aim, finds the kill there, but Lear gets the response. But he, Soapy can't aim. Aju combined for a big two kills, keeping the Bucky boys alive here. But Coil snuck up on them. Coil, very quiet, very sneaky, rewarded with the double kill here. And so Evil Goobers quickly with the force by make the second half one to one thus far. That's the round evil goobers needed yes. that's for sure they desperately needed that round for themselves and uh it's paying off a little bit here Lear and flavor still trying to figure out their buys at the moment it looks like we got a bulldog on the side of flavor and Lear's just opting to down. go for a ghost in full armor bucky boy's got a bucky there's one bucky there it is and that's see it and s frog keeping the keeping the dream alive <laughs> giving the fans what they want exactly we want to see a Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> kind of disappointed it's not five He's Buckies, but I'll take what I can get. Sinnoh <laughs> yeah. here with a difficult job. His cool. evil goobers pinch in on to this A site. Wow. <laughs> Had, he was between a rock and a hard place, but Pugstar makes Ooh. it even harder. Takes down Soapy Can't Aim. So Bucky Boys, despite having dropped the previous round with a big start to this third Spike round planted. of the half. Jack 
with the Sheriff here. Close to finding a pick, but he's going to get overwhelmed by the Ooh. members of Evil Goobers. Pugstar will take him down. A shoe, just a classic and a dream. Oh. Pugstar oh. takes his head off for the triple <laughs> kill. Evil Goobers make it two in a row. And they've showed they can respond and respond they have. And they're one round away from tying this one back up for what is, what, the third or fourth time at this point? <laughs> yeah. It definitely has been a back and forth in in such a weird way. It's been like yep. clumps of wins, clump, clumps of losses. And uh, eight to seven, this is a very interesting uh, stat line here, but Evil Goobers are looking pretty good on the attacker side on Haven. Yeah, they're looking very confident here. The key was definitely making that force buy in the uh, second round of the half work. And now that they've got that uh, win under their belt, they've surged forward here now with Big guns in hand, but also up against big guns on the side of the Bucky boys. Coil pushing forward here. Sends out the paranoia. But there is a staunch defense here from the Bucky boys. Three members with eyes on B site. This may be tough for the evil goobers, and they're rethinking their approach. It's back off for now, but they're in a bit of an exposed position here mid. They crowd into that window and back away, considering the A site. They have uh, left Pugstar <laughs> a bit out in no man's land, but the smoke will secure his escape. That actually is pretty smart. He Pugstar made this, you know, gave them the sound cue that someone was still there with that reload. As Evil Goobers move off, Pugstar takes up. Soapy can't aim, but oh my goodness, Sinnoh almost got off the site that they are rushing. Yeah, this is a crazy approach here from the Evil Goobers, Ooh. or from the Bucky Boys, rather. Sinnoh takes out School before going down to Lear. Jack finds one, dashes oh. forward, though a bit aggressively gets punished by Coil. Three members of the attack remaining. They get the spike down. Frog starts to dismantle the site here, gets the big double kill, leaving Pugstar as the lone attacker remaining off this flank. Frog comes up big with that triple kill on the retake, and Bucky Boys stop Evil Goobers from tying it back up, re-extend their lead here in the second half. The economic situation is going to be a little dicey for the Evil Goobers now. I was oh, I actually, no, that was completely wrong. They had full pump. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did not. I thought they four spot that previous round for upgraded rifles. They didn't. They stuck with the SMGs that yeah. they had. Now they can put together a very comprehensive buy. Yeah, the, the colors are definitely a little goofed at the moment. So it's kind of freaking my brain yeah, out. Yeah, so Lear and the Evil Goobers are green on the scoreboard, green up top as well, but they're coming in as red on the kill feed. Uh, can be a little distracting, so we will do our absolute best here. But Sinnoh on the red side, on the defending oh. side here, so aggressively pushed up, could be rewarded massively. Only finds one, but one may be enough here for Aju. Gets the big kill onto Pugstar. Oh, Huge. so close to finding two, but Coil so strong there. Goes down to 18 HP, leaving Jack as the lone defender on this A site. Evil Goobers, though, they may have been scared off of it, but they've got great intel now as they'll be able to get the damage onto Jack. Coil able to work his way onto site as Lear picks up that kill and shirks away. Only two defenders remaining now on the retake. A recon drone, recon, recon drone rather, <laughs> will be able to get some decent intel for the Bucky boys. Now Frog pushes forward, but Coil is so good. Gets the first kill, gets the second kill, gets the third kill onto Frog. Really excellent stuff from the Evil Goobers, and there is almost nothing to separate these teams by. Yeah, kind of a one-to-one -one difference here for the most part. It's kind of crazy. Evil Goobers looking pretty strong still on this side, especially forcing you know, a lot of economic decisions from Bucky Boys that are kind of hurting them in the long run. Three members left alive in that last round, especially with Coil. 18 HP left alive yeah. and uh, was yeah. not punished for it. Yeah, Coil shouldn't have been allowed to survive, but survive he did nonetheless. Oh, Soapy can't aim. Taking a big chance there. Pugstar makes him pay, and that's going to give the Seaside on over to the Evil Goobers. And that's going to give all the kills over to the Evil Goobers. 
the eco round not equaling a thrifty here for the Bucky boys at this point in time. Pugstar picks up a rather easy looking triple kill. Oh, that was a really unfortunate situation for Soapy Can Aim. If he was able to get into that smoke unabated, then he probably yeah. would have at least gotten one or two. Yeah, it's definitely it would have been easier, but that little sliver of vision yep. unfortunately gave up the plans there for Soapy. So Bucky Boys with a big opportunity now up onto Jack. We've seen how dangerous he can be on the attacking side. You have to say the defending side should enable him even further. See how it pays off this time around. Oh, Jack <laughs> almost <laughs> made the read there, but didn't want to give away too much intel. Doesn't pull the trigger as of yet. Evil Goobers established their mid control here. They do have uh, one on the flank here, but it doesn't matter. Here comes the push from the Evil Goobers, but Pugstar unable to make it work this time around. The plant will go down regardless, but Aju and Frog right around the corner here. We'll let's see what angles they pick. Sino picks up the intel for his team from across the map. Here comes the Hunter's oh. Fury from Schooled, but Schooled in enemy territory here could get punished from Sino. Sino does, and that's going to open the door for the Bucky Boys. Sino comes up big. Jack finishes off Lear. Bucky boys once again respond in a big way, once again prevent the tie here in the second half. Yeah, the buy really paid off for Bucky boys this time. They had that operator in hand. They were forcing evil goobers to have rifles only in their hands. And now, I mean, evil goobers, even still, they were able to full buy again after all members dropping last round. Full buy with full armor and still have technically enough for a complete other buy. So, yep. Evil Goobers not really uh, feeling feeling the destitution at the moment. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, they still have been able to get four of the last seven, despite how scrappy it has looked. So, Bucky Boys, nothing being Ooh. made easy for them. Jack finds the revenge onto Sino as Lear got, or finds the revenge onto Lear as Lear took out Sino. Leaving us in a 4v4 here as Evil Goobers push forward through Garage, wasting no time. Sophie, though, with a exit oh, no. paranoia, can't capitalize, though. Schooled wins the trade there. Frog gets taken out by Flavor in an excellent push from the Evil Goobers. Leave Bucky Boys with only two members remaining. They're both in a tight spot here in this back corridor. Aju's got to make the most of this Lear, but Pugstar what? makes the most of his peak. Takes down Jack and leaving Aju as the lone member remaining. Just going to have to pick up that off and escape with his life. So evil goobers tie it up here at 10. Wow. <laughs> what a turn of events that was. I am I'm still kind of... In, in shock of what just happened. Yeah, it was a really, uh, really explosive push uh, from the Evil Goobers there. They had, I mean, it's kind of the standard for what we've been seeing from both these teams on attack is just kind of holding back, uh, you know, biding their time, finding the intel, finding the pick. But Evil Goobers, uh, with a lot of time remaining on the clock, made the most of that garage position there, surged forward onto C site. Uh, Soapy Can't Aim had an excellent uh, paranoia yeah. there, hitting a lot of the members of Evil Goobers, but schooled. Uh, held the crosshair uh, where he was expecting Soapy Can't Aim and made the most of it. So Bucky Boys making a bit of an adjustment here. They do have an Odin on their side as well as an op once again going over to Jack. Jack once again for like the third time in a row here holding this A long angle. Oh, and wow. gets rewarded massively for it. Snipes down Pugstar on the updraft. So Jack able to reposition here. Aju pops the Empress for good measure. Bucky Boys with a big start here. To try to retake control of this game once again. They might actually try to play time, but actually, never mind. The Empress gets popped on both sides now. Evil Goobers. Jack was perfectly blinded in that moment, but no, Flavor's going to take out Aju. And now this is a very interesting moment. There's a lot of smokes down on the field. Jack out hunting with the shorty out in tow. Will he be able to pick up something? I just don't know at the moment. They were able to pick up someone. 
picks up the Phantom. Oh no, the spray was unfortunate and Frog takes down Flavor to win another round and bring it 11 to 10. This is one round after another for both of these teams. Look at that scoreboard. It doesn't get any closer than this, but wow, Evil Goobers, I'm really surprised by that last play. Uh, after uh, Jack picked up that opening kill, I thought Evil Goobers might back away and reconsider their options, but regardless of Jack holding down the op on that A site, they pushed forward and it ended up uh, uh, it ended up disastrously for them. Not it, in their favor. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jack held firm with the op, ended up picking the double kill, which enabled his team to secure that round. Bucky Boys once again take the lead, but it is the narrowest of leads. See if they can extend it here to get themselves onto match point, or if Evil Goobers get themselves closer to tying it up for the countless time in this game. Sophie can't aim. Oh my goodness. A big opportunity with a big Odin in hand here when this smoke goes down. There will be oh fireworks! Soapy takes the head off of Flavor. Evil Goobers, I don't think they know what just happened. Bucky Boys, they staunch defense here in Garage. The uh, uh, Hunter's Fury will come out for the side of Bucky Boys to try and for, uh, push the issue, but it's gonna be Jack that forces oh no! the envelope, gets the snipe before getting sprayed down by Pugstar. So Evil Goobers trying to find themselves in a, a foothold Shadow here Star. in this round. Soapy Can't Aim has pushed themselves up a bit further here. See if they can find a bit more uh -oh. reward for that expensive machine left. gun. <laughs> he is Evil Goobers running out of time, run into the barrel of Soapy Can't Aim. Pugstar finally taking down the Odin wielder. But will that be enough for them in this 2v3? The HP looking a little rough for them. Sino on the flank. Oh no! Only finds one, thought he might be able to find two. And the one remaining is Lear. Lear picks up the double kill, but can't pick up the triple. Aju gives Bucky Boys Next what point. very well might be their largest lead of the half thus far, a two round lead. And they need to make it three here to close this one out. Evil Goobers need to pick up this next round and they need to pick up the one after that and send this one into OT. And what a game to start this day off on. <laughs> yeah. No kidding, Bucky Boys showing that they're coming to party right now. They are not messing around. Jack looking so good on that operator. And Soapy can aim, uh, obviously can aim. We've been seeing <laughs> some crazy flicks from Soapy. Yeah, some big Odin plays. Woo! Soapy's got a lot of bullets to work with there. Finds big damage onto Pugstar. Jack on the other side of the site there. Won't be able to find the snipe. So evil goobers, they've got to kind of slink away from holding any sort of aggressive angles. These Bucky boys have been there to greet them everywhere they look. Op will, or excuse me, the alt will pop, I believe, for Jack there. Yeah. So Jack has the knives in hand, has the op in hand. The task grows even more difficult for the evil goobers. But the defense looking a bit thin on A site. If evil goobers can put the picture together, get the intel, they may be able to capitalize on the lone defender Aju, but Aju does have reinforcements coming in hand here. See if the evil goobers time this properly. They may be able to get away with this push here onto site. Pugstar, low HP remaining. Ooh, flavor. flavor opens up the action onto Aju as the spike goes down. Pugstar with a crazy lurk here up through the smoke. Oh, and Soapy can't aim so close to disaster. But Pugstar oh, with a massive God, flank exactly here, win. keeping evil goobers in this one as it's now a 4v2 for the defenders. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? I just don't know what happened, but Sinnoh is going to be taken out by Coil there at the end of this round, bringing it 12 to 11. Bucky Boys are definitely having their, you know, some work cut out for them at the moment, but they can still full buy? Question mark? It's, di yeah, it's dicey. Jack only with 2,000 credits here after having to splash out for the op so many times. Bucky Boys still have a chance to wrap this up right here, right now but it won't be on the most optimal buy. The silver lining for the Bucky Boys is that the Evil Goobers are unable to get an op. They didn't have the resources available. 
So Bucky boys on the defense here. They've got to hold firm. Yeah, the Goobers need to find the mix-up that can shake up this defense. Yeah, looking to put a stop to the Bucky boys' reign at the moment. Kind of reign of terror here. Oh, oh goodness. Hunter's Fury is going to pop from Evil Goobers. They're going to they're going out fishing. I don't think he's going to pick up anything at the moment. There is a lot of damage on. Oh, my goodness. Sobe can't aim. Goes down, though. Yeah, finding a lot of damage there, I believe, onto NS Frog uh, for the Bucky Boys. Yeah. As oh, one oh. member goes down as well, Jack with the Bucky on the Bucky Boys. Pushed up a short here, but Evil Goober's not going to give him the satisfaction making the read here. Like, <laughs> I bet someone's got a Bucky pushed up a short. <laughs> Let's not even indulge them. Flavor on the flank here that may come up big for Evil Goobers as they push out onto A site. Just as you once again to greet them. Hugstar lurking around the corner, left. going to find. Try to find a shot, but will end up taking damage. Does Pugstar, but Jack! Oh, so close! What? Yes, Jack wins out over Schooled with the Bucky. The Bucky boys in full force on the retake. Can they close this one out? Flavor in the way, gets the kill, but that's not enough for the evil Goobers as the remaining members fall. Flavor gets the triple kill here. 1v2 for Flavor, can't get it done. Sino wraps it up, and that's a dub for the Bucky boys. What an insane match. All the way through, 13 to 11 is such a good stat line, score line. Yes. All of those, nu those numbers, names, all of it. All of the above, names Bucky boys. Names for numbers. Exactly, looked so good. That was a really fun match to watch. I was expecting yeah. to see Bucky's in every single hand on the Bucky <laughs> boys every round like it used to be, but you know what? They came out to yeah. play and they, you know, they took down a pretty formidable yeah. team. Evil Goobers is a really strong roster and this is a really impressive win for the newly formed Bucky boys. Uh, I mean, and it doesn't get any closer than that, especially, I mean, can you believe how lucky we are to have our tournament start off with such a firecracker of a match? That was an excellent match. We are going to be getting uh, our hyper, or not our HyperX MVP, but our uh, MVP of the match here for game one. It's going to be Lear yeah. there uh, for the side of Evil Goobers. This guy did not slow down. I mean, I think within the first two rounds had five kills, and that pretty much <laughs> set the pace for him going forward. 23-18-11. Lear comes up in a big way, but Evil Goobers, they were so close, millimetrically close yeah. uh, to getting some sort of lead there in the second half. It didn't come together. Bucky Boys stayed strong, win this one out 13-11. Doesn't get much closer than that. <laughs> yeah. So. We are going to take a quick few minute break, but after that exciting match, we will be back with yet another exciting match here for game two of the group stages. Stick around. You don't want to miss it.